Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of our different rares that we have equipped on our rogue, and we're going to try to upgrade them or change them with the occultist and then print an aspect to make them legendary. So the first that we're going to really kind of take a look at, the first weapon, is going to be this rare dagger, right? So it's a 305 item power, but that part doesn't really matter. The big part is the codex of power. So to equip these or get these codexes, you're going to actually need to do the dungeons around the area. So if we take a look at our map, we're going to be able to see a couple of different dungeons when we look in. We can see here the Immortal Emanation, and this is going to give us a Druid-only aspect. We can also see some others as well, so a Necromancer-only. We have a couple other dungeons like this one, a Druid-only. Uh, this one has a Barbarian-only, but we did a few different aspect dungeons, and today we are going to show you guys how to add them to your weapons and make a quick legendary. So first off, the Rare Dagger. Let's put it straight in on the imprint aspect uh, spot. Let's use the Codex of Power. What are we going to want to actually add to this? Probably the Flurry damages enemies in a circle around you and deals 8% increased damage. So let's click that one, and here we are going to be able to see the item preview. This is going to be basically the preview. It shows you what you can get based on the aspect you're putting on your rare item. So we can imprint this aspect for about 11,000 or 12,000 gold. Let's do exactly that. By the way, imprinting this item will override its existing power. This cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to proceed? Absolutely. So there we go. We have now another legendary. And this one, the one we just did, imprinted flurry, damaging enemies in a circle around you. Deals 8% increased damage. So very, very nice to have. And uh, for my flurry build specifically, that, by the way, if you don't know, I do have a video on previously that goes over this build. But this is going to definitely help quite a bit with that build. So huge to get that aspect on our weapon. And you can actually see here as well, when you go to the codex, you can hit show my class only, and this will be all of the available aspects for your specific class. So there's some other ones that we could upgrade to as well. Here we have the damaging an elite enemy grants you a barrier absorbing up to 315 damage for 10 seconds. So if we click that, we can actually implant this aspect on a certain amount of pieces of gear so you can see here we could put it on our helmet we could put this on our chest piece pants piece or even our amulet so we are going to do it on another rare so if we actually take a look here the chest piece 347 item power we have uh, a couple other pieces as well but let's put it on this chest piece real quick so 12,000 gold it's going to cost us and as well as 10 or you know, we have 20 Veiled Crystals. It's going to cost us 10 of them. So let's do exactly that. Imprint this. And there we have it. A legendary piece of chest armor. This one going to be giving us the imprinted version of damaging an elite enemy, granting you a barrier, absorbing up to 315 damage for 10 seconds. This effect can only happen once every 30 seconds. So that's how you upgrade rare to legendary pieces of gear or armor or weapons very, very quickly with using gold to your advantage. So you can also do an extract aspect. So let's say I want this, what we have here on these boots which automatically drops a smoke grenade at the end of the dash. We can actually put these straight up into the uh, aspect preview, and we can extract the aspect for 15,000 gold. It would give us this aspect preview, and we could use this on helmets, chest armors, boots, gloves, and amulets. By the way, if you put it on amulet, it increases the power by 50%, it says, so that's a pretty cool idea as well. We can also craft sigils over here with the occultist, and uh, we're not going to do much of this right now, but I want to show you that you can definitely craft sigils using him. Um, this is going to be nightmare sigils, and it is used to transform a dungeon into a nightmare dungeon. This crafting creates that nightmare, nightmare sigil of tier of 1 to 5, 6 to 10, depending on what you do. So very, very cool. Obviously requiring world tier 3 up to 20, and then world tier 4 up to 100. Next up, we have the salvage sigil. So if you have civil, uh, sigils in your inventory, which during the beta you would not have that, but you can salvage sacred, ancestral, and of course all your sigils as well. Next up, last but not least, we have the enchant item. Add an item to the slot and select an affix to replace. So if I want, I can actually select a specific affix uh, to replace on any of these weapons pieces. So all we need is a Fiend Rose, which is exceptionally hard to find herb found during the Helltide when Sanctuary gives ways to Hell's influence. So right now we're probably not going to find many of these, if at all. I don't believe we actually are able to in the beta, but then we also have the Veiled Crystals and you can enchant and actually select any of these that you want to change 
and uh, start rolling for new, new pieces. If you haven't done this in Diablo 3, it does seem like it's very, very similar. So it's a very, very cool thing to know what the Occultist all does, and it's a very easy way to basically upgrade rares to legendaries using these aspects that you can, like I said, find around the map and do by, you know, completing these dungeons. So definitely do these dungeons that mean the most to your class and take advantage of them early on in your really Diablo 4 experience because they are going to continue to help you throughout by just being able to, like I said, upgrade those rares to legendaries. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.